We have a skin system, updates, baby hips Hipsilophodon, and a whole bunch more. And yes, that's what we're talking about today for the Isle News. And we have some other stuff to talk about, as well as update 5 updates and some developer comments. Timestamps for everything are on the screen now, but if you are new, feel free to subscribe. Well, let's get right into the video. So the first part of this video, I'm going to be talking about the baby Hypsilophodon model. We got to see a brand new coloration on the default skin for Hypsilophodon, which is like a golden orangey color with the black skin as the default skin. This would replace the yellowy color that is already on the Hypsilophodon and it's replaced with this nice orange. However, we get to see a baby and what could be a baby skin or it could just be the female version of the skin. Either way, we get to see a baby model for the Hypsilophodon and as you can see, in it looks like a little chicken. That's literally the best way to explain it. It's got those chicken legs and it's got a big eye, a small head and a lighter colour scheme. More orange, more white, less dark colours which could indicate to me that this is the female skin for the Hypsilophodon. But nevertheless, a very cute baby model. Let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments down below. Now I'm pretty sure this is the baby Hypsilophodon model. I might be wrong but if I am wrong do let me know in the comments. But yes, this is what we know for, so far for the baby hipsy and let me know your thoughts on it now let's get into the skin system stuff because this is the main part of the video and I do want to talk about one skin that I did mention in my last video I said the top part of it was a pinky lavender now that was my fault because on the monitor that I had it on it has different color settings and so things see a slightly pinker colour on them however it's actually a grey it's actually quite a lighter grey which is you know just a kind of in between of black and grey in that sense but it's a very nice little skin and I think it's really good nevertheless we also see another sneak peek of that skin because it gets another image for it and I think it looks cool however they blend so nicely they still look kind of vibrant in a sense and I like it a ton so it's really nice to see this skin in the game I also love how complex the skin looks so kudos to those who design them. Next we have a brand new Utah Raptor skin which I also do believe is a brand new pattern for the Utah Raptor as well which means regarding the colours and the pattern it's all brand new. The colours are a mix of greys once again you see grey, black, white pretty standard now and it actually looks pretty nice i kind of like this one a lot I, I like it more than the carnotaurus skin which was greens blacks and gray i like this better with the grays whites and gray and the slightly off-white in a sense because it fits really nicely with utah raptor tenontosaurus has two more additional images which show the same skin but with different base colors now i have seen that this is actually a brand new skin in the game this is a brand new skin which was told by felipe to be a brand new pattern as well. So we basically see one with a grey base colour and then we see one with a green base colour. Both of them obviously different base colours but it shows you the different mixes of colours that you'll be able to choose on these skins and it looks really nice. Personally I'm loving all the brand new skins that are coming to the game. I love how realistic they look and how full of vibrancy these characters have even though the skins might not be vibrant. We also have some Update 5 development news outside of the screenshots as well. So Update 5 essentially is the skin system and the growth system that's going to be in the game. And we have seen some updates from the Trello board and some dev comments regarding it as well. This is updated weekly and shared weekly into the roadmap updates discord section in their discord server. So let's firstly get into something that was mentioned 10 days ago which said this. The most notable update this week was the parent slash child inheritance inheritance system which is now complete which means four out of the ten nesting mechanic stuff is now completed for update five with the new addition of parent child mechanics or inheritance mechanics which was the fourth one to be checked off finally we also have a brand new comment from punch packet which was from saturday's development update on the avrima branch which says this while we've continued to make significant progress on both the nesting and skin systems i'm sure you're well aware that we spent a sizable chunk of our week resolving a bunch of server crashes that were plaguing the live servers. If you'd like to see how the skin system is coming along, I'll post some screenshots from our QA testers in Isle Phase 2 in a moment. 
Those were the images that I showed in the last section, so if you want to go back and refresh yourself on them, feel free to do so. But that is pretty much everything for the news that is for Update 5, which is actually quite a neat amount of stuff, but it does showcase that prior to this, so I'll focus on fixing the game. However, there's been some good focus on nesting and skin systems, and there's been good progress, which we'll hopefully see in next week's update. Which does remind me, if you do want to see what happened last week as well, feel free to check out the video that's going to pop up on the screen now. Feel free to check that out and give it a watch. We talk about Giga Notosaurus and some other stuff there, and it's definitely definitely worth the watch. Let's end up on some developer comments. These are mainly from Felipe, but we have one or two from Kissen as well. So let's just get right into this. This is regarding Avrima and the future of Avrima in general. Firstly, Felipe did confirm that the 10 Nontosaurus skin that I showcased previously is a brand new skin and a brand new pattern as well. Felipe also confirmed the eggs will have gameplay, but it won't be like the gameplay for the eggs in Beast of Bermuda, which was a given, honestly wouldn't expect them to be the same anyways. Felipe also was testing Unreal Engine 5 a few days ago as most games are switching over to Unreal Engine 5 so he showcased a screenshot of a Utah Raptor in Unreal Engine 5 however the comments about it were quelled because he said they don't plan on moving it to there anytime soon and that was just some personal testing and play session of his that has nothing to do with the game. He also added that this is Nanite. Those uh, assets have millions of triangles each. They are from a mega scan line Library, plus thousands of high poly grass foliage and lumen active, still keeping 70-ish FPS besides engine compiling shaders in the background pretty good, which is actually pretty good because it showcases the power of Unreal Engine 5, which you probably wouldn't have been able to achieve smoothly in Unreal Engine 4 before that. Now we also have a kit... Uh, we also have a comment from Kissen where someone asks them, will non-diet foods eventually not give as much food as the preferred food? Mainly for herbivores. Kissen replied with this, the diet system as a whole, other layer yet to be added, which will definitely affect that. Which means we're probably going to be seeing that soon in a couple updates time. We'll probably either see it in update 5 or update 6, because they're, to me, the updates that I think will probably showcase that, especially when we see new dinosaurs getting added as well. Anyways, that that is everything so far. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below here. I'd love to know what you think about all of this stuff. Let me know. But other than that, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. What do you think about all this? But yeah, if you do enjoy, feel free to subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.